Big news, we bought a boat. We wanted to share and document the maiden voyage on Lake Merwin with our new boat. We have a few goals for this video and one of them is to share tips with fellow newbies. We also will share with everybody whether this new boat buying experience and learning how to operate a boat has been worth it. As exciting as it is to buy a new boat, it's also intimidating and overwhelming. We are very lucky in that at Lake Merwin Campers Hideaway, there is a volunteer waterfront crew where they help people launch their boats. I contacted them beforehand and let them know that we would be down at the launch at about 8.30 or 9 a.m. on Saturday, and sure enough, their whole crew was there helping us with every step of the way. We felt incredibly grateful for their help. Mike backed the boat and trailer into the water until the fenders were just barely visible. We removed the safety chain and the winch. We tied a rope to the front of the boat and then guided the boat over to the dock. One thing that helped make me feel a little bit more comfortable was that I watched about two weeks worth of YouTube videos learning how to operate and drive the boat. So, and then just so everyone knows, there is a waterproof air safe kit under the cushions. There's additional life jackets. There is a uh, fire extinguisher. Okay. okay. And there's oars and there's a battery charger. Okay, is everyone ready? Yes! Hit it! We immediately felt more comfortable when we ran into our cousins on the lake. My cousin Keith hopped on our boat, took the wheel here in a few minutes and helped guided us to a spot between two logs and then we anchored and hung out with our family for a few hours. It was a blast. Good job, Teddy. We checked with some fellow boaters in the waterfront crew and they said it's busy around 5 p.m. So we headed back to the dock about 3.30. It's a mystery to me as to why I suddenly turned the boat as I was driving it onto the trailer. We were also advised that neutral is our friend, steer before gear, go slow when approaching the dock. Do you have any tips? Once the boat was far enough up on the trailer, they winched it the rest of the way. Another critically important piece is to make sure the motor is trimmed up when driving off the lake. We also took the boat plug out and drained the water from the boat. Just make sure to put it back in. Hi, I'm Kim, Kristen's sister, and my boating tip for somebody who's just starting out is to spend as much time as you can with a friend or family member who has boating experience so that you can kind of get some knowledge um, secondhand. When you're buying a boat, not only do you have to think about what boat you're going to buy, but it's also important to understand who you're buying it from, so a good dealer is very important in the process. Okay. Make sure to read the owner's manual. It's one of the best purchases we've ever made. So was buying the boat worth it? It might be a little soon to tell. But we think that this boat will provide us many new adventures ahead and experiences with our friends and family that we'll have memories for a lifetime with. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time with our teardrop trailer. <laughs>